and I'm coming in. Woo! Oh my god. The, the eagle. Is that an eagle? What is that? What is that? What is that? That is so nice. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Confirmation, affirmation. It's gonna be that type of day for the nation. Confirmation, affirmation. I'm here to tell you what the situation is. I might share some biz, but you might get this. <laughs> I can't exercise today because I had a wonderful massage yesterday and technically you're not supposed to exercise 24 to 48 hours after. I mean it was like a really 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 good massage. I mean if, in, in those of you who are athletes or very athletic or about your health, you know when you get that real good the real massage, your 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 tissues and everything feels it. So it's like that it's like the good afterburner but you have to let everything relax and go slow. So this forces me to not get out on the track or go nature walking because I was really wanting to do that under circumstances, but no. Nope. I'm supposed to come out here and uh, give you a preview. You know how things, how music used to, you know, you used to, you know, try to download things like a preview, preview. Preview, especially when it was free. You just got preview. Preview. You know, free is good. But all, ooh, there goes the bird. I saw that shadow. But all things aren't free. I have never understood why churches charge so much money. Church, not the, not the, not the restaurant but churches in general they charge so much money and are not tax and it's and it's not tax deductible they have the biggest hustle in town in the world churches religious religious organizations because they have no cap on what they charge they can charge whatever they want to and it's not tax deductible and you know what happens when you get the wrong type of people into that type of situation that can be easily become a scam you have a lot of people who become scam artists. A lot of preachers are scam artists. A lot of people. You know what I hate when you find out that, you know, you have people even in my own, you know, in the military who are scam artists. Now listen, we know this whole big country is a scam. It is. It is on so many levels, but oof, oof. really, <laughs> I had to get clarity again. <laughs> I had to look in the sun one more time. No joke. Because it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And fam, it's such a chill day. You know, people are like, it's a chill day. I love my family. I love my, I love it here. There's a lot of things going on all over the place, but it is really chill here. If I had to ask for a happy place, this would be it. On my birthday, I am still getting the gifts. And I'm giving the gift. So I'm trying to stay in a high vibrational mood so I won't, you know, you know please mommy if I don't say, you know, too many curse words because you know I can roll it off. Because I ain't soft. But at the same time, I'm highly intelligent. When I want to, I can give a two-hour seminar and not even use a curse word. I just choose to sometimes because sometimes stuff just makes you want to ball up your fist. And you notice, even as a baby, I was doing this, so I have a legacy of that. Let me tell you something about me as we get to mastering the, mastering the wheel, okay? <clears throat> the preview. Because this is a free class. Mm. After my birthday season, these classes won't be free. Oh yeah, this is match my confidence. It's one thing to buy the shirt, and it's another thing to wear it, but it's another thing to actually represent it. 
You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people be wearing a lot of stuff, but they don't really represent what they wear. It's like a lot of people say they're this and they're that, but do they represent that in their actions? Their words say that and their title says that, but their actions suggest they represent something else. See, when you're somebody like me, you have a tendency to tell the truth and not give a some military brat shit, some military brat stuff. I mean, you know, we all would, we, some of the realest, the realest, downest, rawest, and most ruthless people I know. The, in fact, the, the, the in fact, the realest, rawest, and most ruthless people I know are military folks. And keep in mind, I'm also part of the music industry. Keep in mind, I mean, I've been, you know, I don't want the industry, the industry wants me. Keep in mind, I've been around more gangsters than some of y'all will probably ever see in real life. Got a few in my family. You don't want to know how deep my blood can go. That's the part that you don't want to know. I hear the geese coming. She's revving, and I'm cool. I'm chill. This is a good day. It's a beautiful day. The family's chill. I'm not going to disturb this vibe. I didn't come out here to disturb this vibe. That's why you want to make sure who's in your tribe, who feels like tribe to you. Does your tribe feel like tribe or is it somebody sucking energy off you? I know a lot of people that will give their last dime to everything or give a thousand, thousands of bucks to nothing. But I've helped them and they won't give me a dime for my birthday. But if they need something, or if they need, you know, if they need something, they knock on my door, they call my phone or whatever. But when it was time to turn it around, did you return the favor that you got? Because I was a gift to you. I did not have to be around you. You got the opposite view of what this lesson was. You thought, I have wanted to be or you had to be around me. No, I don't have to be around you. I don't have to be around anybody. Military bread only child. Made like that. Made for now. So before we get into this mastering this wheel, because I'm gonna make this really short so I can just enjoy the day. But uh I have come to some very, very, very uh, for ah oh, that a puppy. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, man. This is a beautiful day. I don't have a, I know, I gotta, excuse me if I, I'm dripping. Big vapor rub up your nose. It's still, it's, 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 it's pine cones and pollen everywhere. And as I, as I say it, now the haze. <laughs> the beautiful blue, but you start to see the haze too. Oh. Pollen ain't no joke. But you know what? When you're a soldier, you can do this. Because, you know, you ain't got no choice. You got to do it anyway. We can't, like, you know, we can, but we can't, like, you know, stay in the house all day. Uh, so you, you you do some things to accommodate, and you don't have to take 50,000 shots for that either. Allergy. You know, natural. Nature, if you give nature a minute, if you give nature a well, you know what? Screw it. Y'all not Y'all not into the natural tip. Y'all are truly into the assimilation. You are truly into the matrix, and you are okay with that. Which brings me to people like Billy Carlson and, and, and Project Knowledge, or anybody for that matter, that, okay, I've had, especially on my Instagram, I've had a couple of, it's, it's this one thing I have posted, which to the core, I'm not taking none of that back, and it's talking about, you know, blacks and the Afros and the military and the dress code and da-da-da-da-da, and it's absolutely excellent but if that is all if all the posts i watch this post keeps being like 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 and i'm hoping you're liking it because it's something new but listen you have some people this is what they do and this is on both sides of the fence okay this is on this side of this and this is on that side of the fence do i have to do i have to clarify for you not to understand what i'm saying i mean we're supposed to be smart here right okay here's the thing we are in 2023. We are still dealing with stuff that we were dealing with in 1963. We're still dealing with stuff that we were dealing with in 1923. The problem is, we're also still talking about the same problems. 
and we're not offering any better solutions than we did in 63 or 93. If you're just talking about the problem and not doing anything to solve them, God damn it, we know it. <laughs> we know what the problem is. Well, well, my kind does. We do. My breed does. The intelligent ones do. Who are you talking to? Because the only thing I seem to hear is somebody who keeps stirring up the problem but don't offer any real solutions other than support you and your school so you can teach them what more facts about what the problem is, which you already know. That's why I love my godfather. Dr. Khalid Muhammad, because he was so like my daddy. See, my daddy could be the militant to cows come home, but was quite factual and quite brilliant and quite strong. And my mom, I mean, you know what? Yeah, was, hey, my mom was a sad. <laughs> no sad. If you know sad, just no sad. Which is going to bring me around mastering the will because slow vibing signs of all kinds. You don't want to deal with them right now, but you can. That's your journey. It's just not mine. So if I'm not dealing with you, then you're on the low vibing side period that is not up for debate it's not hate it's just the way it has to be because i am building my abundance and my prosperity with productivity and you are a distraction and you negate and you subtract from me so it would make no sense to bring you on a journey Especially when I've said the same thing over and over and over to some of these same people and dealt with them the same way. You are the one that's not going to change. I'm the one that needs to change. Bingo. Got it. And you know what I learned? You know what I learned? Because if you're really, 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 truly in this thing, you got to understand some people make themselves relevant by constantly giving you the problem. Finishing my point, because I was getting ready to go somewhere else, but Finishing this, uh, Dr. Khalid Muhammad. I remember one time in Wilmington. In fact, we were at uh, we were sitting. We were at uh, we were at one of the ministers. Uh, uh, we were there was dinner and the service was great and everything. And you know how you have these new brothers who come in, you know, or not so new or new to the culture or whatever. And they and they literally for some reason they get stuck on the facts. You know, the moon and so and so and so and the sun's just down there. And da, 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 and, you, and somehow or another. They get, I understand at a certain point, you know, you're in prison and that's all that you need to focus on. But then how do you make that apply to real life? Now that you have that knowledge, what are you doing with it? What the, <clears throat> what the point is spitting knowledge when you still look like you're dumb? When you still haven't changed anything about your life but spitting knowledge. I hear so many people spitting knowledge, but I'm looking at you. And you know what? I'm not the only one. And I know that because my husband and I were at that table with Dr. Khalil Muhammad. And we knew that man well. You know, I knew that man well. And I could see that look in his eye. And my husband could see the look in my eye and his eye. And he saw when I looked at, 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 at God Daddy. And God and I had that look, and I kind of took my head to my husband like, oh, here we go. And Dr. Collin went in on him. He didn't really embarrass him, but he did. He to, to, to Well, sort of just like, you know, when we were at the dinner table after service, like, you know, brother, what the f does that even mean? <laughs> what do you say? And it's that point. He was trying to be so impressive with the facts that he was because if you don't, it didn't, his intention, his intention was showing off, I guess, what he learned, but he hadn't earned the experience or the wisdom. Did you know who you were talking to? And your life shows right there that you're still just, you're still just another clone. I don't care what side of you're on. If all you can do is spout, is spout facts and you're not making this stuff work for you some kind of way. Then you're just a clown. Now, if you say, well, it's not supposed to work. The earth is bad and the world is bad and da 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 Well, then you're a clown because this is not going to work for you. I could go wrong. It's not going to work and we're all going to die. We're all going to be miserable. Well, then what is the point of me living then? If you feel that way, just kill yourself. Now, I know people going to say, oh, my gosh, she said that. See, I'm in my Aquarian. I'm in my Aquarius me heaven, though. And as we all know, you name me one Aquarius truly gives a fuck about anything. I know, Mother, I'm in my Aquarian in heaven right now. You got to roll with this in my body. Okay. Aquarius don't give no. That's why 
I have the empathy of a Pisces to such a degree. I've had so many people take from me. I have been Chiron, the wounded warrior, over and over again. But thank God, as I leveled around, I also leveled up. And I am into my midheaven right now where even my Aquarius is that think they know me are out of touch. Because they were not high vibing. They were only high vibing in their mind, not in their lifestyle. See, that's Saturn. Saturn doesn't care what you think in your mind. Saturn is looking at you like, well, you say you like this, but why don't you look like that and act like this? You say you this, but why don't you look like that and act like that? And it will bring stuff. It will put stuff in the mirror. It will put stuff in your face. It will constantly prove to you that you are living a lie. And people will say, that's the devil. No, that's you living a lie. That's not Satan. That's Saturn. Satan is someone who will try to set you up for no reason just to take your money and snatch your money like these people did my family a thief is a thief is a thief all of it's nobody's perfect but you know what you scam people veterans and veterans spouses have gone through so much so much you have no clue unless you are part of this legacy you have no clue the energy and you have no clue you just don't it's worth protecting but you have no clue the very thin line to be soldier and saint at the same time to be killer and healer at the same time and this is not an imaginary mind state this is not you know a movie you know, or, or, or TV show. This is in real time, in real life. These people go through so much. And they walk, I'm amazed at them daily that they hold it together. And they say they're amazed at me daily that I hold together. So we're holding each other together. So that, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm representing that legacy of how much you go through. You don't know by looking at a person. But to turn around and scam people like this who have done so much for not only their own families and the community for you. Because I guarantee you, most of your emergency people, your crisis workers or whatever, most of them... Most of them, whether you're law enforcement, uh, 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 nurse, health, rescue workers, firemen, all of that, most of them have military. There's a training that comes with that. Bobo around the corner ain't going to know what to do. Hot to trot around the corner ain't going to know what to do. Y'all got this shit twisted. And so now you got this whole game just like just going down because everything has lifted what was horrible and mediocre to the top and what's even bad about it is that the way it's looked, the representation of it seems like it's coming from this side. Well, we know this side is brilliant. Do I look, do I look like I'm stupid? I bet you what, I dare somebody to come up on my face and say it and think you won't get punched up. That's funny. I'm just saying. I was told when you cry, when you see something, you cry. It's a memory. I mean, like, you know, people cry over movies. And I don't, rom romantic movies and stuff like that. I hear the birds now. So, there. that's a confirmation. You know, the second one you're already saying. Oh, there she go, tap it again. Uh, when, when you feel a certain kind of way, like like you cry, like, like you're in that scene. Like you feel like you relate to that scene. It's like for the very reason I can't watch, uh, I've only watched the movie twice, but I cannot watch the ending. I've only watched the ending of Malcolm X once. I can't, I mean, even now, I can't even. Been there. Uh, and with that in mind, Underworld. Underworld. Underworld awakenings when Eve ripped got just ripped it all I felt that and crying and got with them so I'm doing it now I'm getting emotional why do I get emotional about that wait that hold up so right behind it underworld blood wars like mother like daughter like daughter like mother when Celine and Maris didn't see it coming. 
when Celine ripped his entire spine out. Just the entire spine. I was in the living room clapping and crying at the same time. Clapping and crying and screaming yes. And then I just cried. And I was like, why? <laughs> why do I why do I like I remember that? So that is it's memories like that. My real, real, real friends will tell you, you don't want to ever see her dark any side. She is an anomaly. Y'all can play that. And then when you take the training to, my mom and dad wasn't like, you know, many of you. I had a real mom and a real dad, and they did what they had. I know, I know, I know, I know. Confirmation heard that, said the nation. Military nation, military rat nation. Don't read us wrong when you don't know who we are, when you know how we be. I'm not gonna say you don't have some crazy, messed up races. All kinds of people. You got all kinds of people in everything. You got all kinds of people in church. You got all kinds of people in the music industry. You got all kinds of people in politics. You got all kinds of people everywhere. But I'm sick and tired of people, the ones who've been the expert in talking about certain things, don't know a goddamn thing. Sorry, mother, but you know it is what it is. Don't know what they're talking about. Like, why do you always have the people who make decisions for what's going on? with the military with the troops and they you have a flag in the fight what is your flag you have never been in the fight no neither has none of your family members have been in the fight you have no one in the fight you just catch a check and these are the stupid ones who will have the nerve to say well in order to build this country out of debt we're going to have to cut back on veterans benefits and widows benefits you know what between you and the scammers if it were up to me I would uh, words are powerful <laughs> but if you know you know if you feel me it's fun so, with that being said, with that being said, Virgo to Pisces, real quick. Virgo, first off, I have no Virgo in my house. I have no, my Virgo is a house, it's an empty space. I have no Virgo in my house, uh, which is in the fifth house, sixth house, fifth house. So, and that's a good thing, you know, opposite Pisces, but, you know, and, and, and that's a good thing. So, I'm critical enough as it is, trust me, I don't need every Virgo I've ever ran into maybe possibly with the exception of one has been one of the most egotistical narcissistic they have a good heart on one hand but then they have so much junk on it and you can't tell oh, I see the birds just flew right there and you can't tell them anything they can tell you everything about you they're such perfectionists except to themselves they don't get it they're in many ways they're like Aquarius you can't tell you can't tell them nothing and you usually find them drunk and alone married multiple times or never and you know they're the type of persons that you know you will turn around and you will take out your time to interview a person and spotlight them on the show and da 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 and then they'll call you and you know and you know as we all do well those of us who are into radio you know you don't always put your main you know focus on the first thing because you know you got a two hour show you're building up the show so but I did have you know my show is usually you know two parts in the first hour, two parts in the second hour. But, you know, I do a little bit of teaser in the second hour, the first, in the second part of the first hour, and then the whole next hour is bam, 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 bam. Well, you know what? A very good type of person, when you say you're going to spotlight them, and then they turn around and get mad at you, saying that they got all their fans to listen to the show, and they were disappointed because they didn't hear them be the first thing on the show. Well, nigga, you should have just said thank you. It's people like that. And I'm not even going to talk about the one that I, oh, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. I will never deal with a cocaine. Ever. Ever. Never. Not even a little bit. Not even some. An addict, period. If you're an addict, miss me with that. If you're an alcoholic, I will indulge a little puff, puff, pass, and I will indulge a little bit. But, man, if I have to wake up smelling, I've, I've been there, done that, nothing good about that. And it's just really weird how men think, you know, that they can. And that's an empty sign. And it's like, 
I don't, uh, Virgo just gives me just bad vibes. So I'm, I'm right. I'm right off the bat. Normally, if you, if uh, if I sense Virgo energy, I'm gonna swerve. There's nothing in there for me, which is good, because I can look at that and build it to what I want. Because if I would go by my experiences, it would be just a bunch of jaded stuff, and I'm not jaded, but they'll make you feel jaded. Man, I'm telling you, you gotta let life teach them. That's what all of them. The next one, Libra. Oh, <laughs> back to back. Libra in my sixth house. Libra moon. Ooh, so nothing ever ago. So here we go with the Libra moon. Then boom, boom. That's why I understand Libras very well. I've always had a very tenuous and faded relationship with Libras. I think my very, 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 very first boyfriend, first couple of boyfriends were Libras. My uh, second husband was a Libra. Uh, my couple of boyfriends in, 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 high, uh, in high school. I, 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 when they're good, they're very good. But when they're bad, they're the devil. <laughs> in this case, I will say, quite honestly, I can see why Will feels the way he does about Jade, and I can feel I can see why Jade feels the way she do about Will. Nobody wants those two to beat each other. Please miss me with all of that. <clears throat> to somebody, miss me with all of that. None of that. That's that does not make me happy. Ooh, this is happy here. Feel the birds. Ooh, feel the birds. Look at the happy family. Yay. Happy, happy thoughts. Happy, happy thoughts. Leave a moon. Happy, happy thoughts. Girl, you and your happy, happy. You're manifesting that stuff. That's why you know what works for you. And you see what's messed up. Because a brilliant Libra is untouchable. When they know who they are. When they know who they are. A brilliant Libra can overcome anything. When they know who they are. And they act in it truthfully. Match my confidence. Scorpio. In my, um, uh, where are we going here? How did I miss Sag? Well, because Scorpio comes right after Sag. It's Scorpio in my case. My Neptune is a Scorpio. Whoop, the mystery planet, death. <laughs> and I walk hand in hand. I used to like, that used to frighten me sort of. I think other people made me feel like they should frighten me, but I think I've always learned that death and I have walked hand in hand. I say that and that sounds morbid, but it, it, it's hard to explain. That's why I said, you know what, you can't look at a person and think just because they're their side, they're like, I'm like nobody. There is not a single person on this base that's like me. There's not a single person in this state that's like me. There's not a single person on my block. And for the things, I'm just like her, I'm just like her. There's not a single soul on my block that affects my block like me. There's not one person around me within a hundred mile radius of me and more that affects people the same way I do. I am an anomaly to myself. If they're saying that, make them prove it. Make them prove it. You get my vibe now. Make them prove it. Even. Don't hear that word, word talk. Make them prove it. Don't come and ask me to come and do anything or co-sign on it either. Because, mm, mm not doing that. See, that's a Scorpio. The Scorpio, the Scorpio, my Neptune and Scorpio, like, yeah, listen, there is something magical and, and wonderful out here. But, you know, it can be death if you don't make it work right. It's still real. Magic is real. But so is, uh evil oh and if you don't know what you're doing there's a reason why I, my mom and my dad told me to learn everything i was talking to someone the other day before you even you know, had google and stuff like that we had encyclopedias i have read i know there is not a soul around that can match my level of spiritual emotional and intellectual level and I know that for a fact and you might think that's egoic but not really because if you really delved into my mind most people go blind 
he can't, I mean, even even the guy right here that, you know, we, we all agree, but that's one smart thing he did say. Neil Wright, he said, you know, like with me, some other guy that, like, that won't going to work out. It's like not everybody can touch the sun and not get burnt. Can everybody touch the sun and can everybody look directly into the sun? I have been looking directly into the sun all my life and I still see more than most of you. You're not me. That's the illusion. Trying to be me and not me could cause you death. You better learn stuff for yourself and stop assuming that these people don't know what they're talking about on TikTok and stuff like that. Or these people know what they're talking about in, in, in this music industry. That's the type of stuff that'll get you killed. That's the illusion that, you know, you think they're balling out and everything. That's real and it's not. Why am I going with this? You know what? Screw that. Go on, go, 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 girl, go to the next, because this is where it really gets steep with my six and seven and eights. That's my Saturn and Saturn and Sagittarius. Saturn and Sagittarius. Right off the bat, my mom, right off the bat, I was going to be a queen. I was born to be a queen. My name was Faith. Doctor said she couldn't have any children anymore, but she had me anyway. What are you talking about? Miracle baby, miracles like crazy. I cannot believe in the last couple of years the people who have gang stalked me and double ganged me in such a way that I was very happy at the end of the day that I was being watched. Protect your national treasure because your national treasure is about to go off. Dark Phoenix for real. Okay, this bitch tried to have me kill. Sorry about it. Chill vibe. Family friendly. Because I love it. I love good things. Why am I not happy, happy? I want it happy, happy. Don't bring drama people to your happy, happy. That's why I've learned. I don't bring. That's why you don't see me around anybody. I like seeing children play. Like we used to do back in the day. I used to climb trees. I still could climb a tree. Can you match my confidence? Can you match me? Can you get, can you do a two and a half mile walk, you know, around Carver's Creek? Can you do that for real, for real, for real? Then why, what, what do you have to offer me? Seriously. What am I going to do? Sit and watch you do what? Men think that so much that, you know, it's, it's what you do in the bedroom. And it's like, you know what? You, you're lost in the matrix. And that includes all the ones who always spitting that knowledge and everything. You spit that knowledge, but you got 50,000 babies that you can't take care of. I don't understand what that's about. And that's on both sides. Work it out. I don't give a damn whether it's crack or it's math. It's the same subtraction. <laughs> no action. Not doing it. That is not natural to me. And you know what? It doesn't have to be. That is why I'm changing up the music industry on my show, Soul School Cafe. I am pretty much kind of done with hip-hop or rap per se. I'll do my, what I like on my show. You know, I always do that anyway. But I, don't ask me to support or push or anything. I'm, 2023 20, 20, is a personal year. I'm just doing me. So, you know what, you, you, you got a record, you got this, you got that, you got a festival, you got a concert, you got a, an event. Do you? You have clearly not appreciated me in the past because, I mean, you know, I've seen way too many of the people that I appreciated died from not uh, getting the money that was due to them. That's what I learned. I'm still here. What do I learn from that? They can pay me or they can go and buy their business. But either way, you don't even have to pay me this year because I am just doing me. I got things to handle. I got a lot. Hashtag the coming. Did I get the sadness of Sagittarius? I think it's pretty much, you know, <laughs> you pretty much can figure out I got a lot of Sag in me. That Sag and that Jupiter, I got a lot of fire in me. We want to talk about the Venus and the Aries. But let's get into the, uh, once we get into the 6th, 7th, and 8th house, and 9th, that's why I said the 9th of Scorpio. I see why we're going backwards. I know. You'll catch up later. Uh, 10th house, of course, Pisces, Sun, and it's also, uh, yeah, my Aquarius, Midheaven, is in the 10th house. So I'm like, literally, I'm like a Pisces Aquarian, or an Aquarian Pisces. February, baby. Leap year, 29th. You can't make this stuff up. It's like my chart. It's like my chart. It's like my chart was made by God. You can't make this stuff up. Like, how perfect is my chart? 
I gave one person my chart, by the way, Mr. Ninibi, so he's had that forever. Worked it, trolled it, whatever. You know, Gemini's do what Gemini's do. Still, did it make you, did, did it work for you? Either way, and I've still, after all these years, I've still done me. I don't do cards. See, even though somebody gave me a card, but see, that made me feel suspect because I've been doing cards. I've been doing this. People have just gotten on and doing this stuff over the last year, a couple years, or whatever, whatever. And a lot of these people have been scamming a lot of people in the military. I'm not saying that they're not real readers and stuff. There are. I mean, the real ones are real ones. But again, what I've noticed that people started looking to the military for that check. You know, the music industry won't get it, getting it done, no matter what they said. You know, politics, churches, you know, we're all in, so nobody, you know, because of COVID, ch churches won't make any money. Everybody's trying to make that money up. How to get that money up? What was the only thing that was still going on? What was the only thing that was still operating regardless? What was the only thing that always has a job, even when everything else shuts down? Hello. And y'all saw money. You always see money when it comes to us. You always see money. You don't see the people. You don't see the families. You don't see the work. You don't see the struggle. You don't see the anxiety or the PTSD. And they can't talk about it. Because, you know, that would make them seem weak. And they're not even, they're, they're hardly not. I don't want each and every one of my soldiers to know not one of you is weak. You are literally the strongest, the strongest people I know. And you know I know. So, don't ever think you're weak. You just need someone to talk to. That gets it. You know, I'm in the door. That's a preview, because that's what I wanted to stop on right there, because that's, 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 um, you know, sometimes the military needs an oracle, too, you know. I don't mind serving those who actually protect me and save me, and, and when I'm in need, they show up. I like a lot of people who didn't. So don't talk about it now. And don't talk to me about my people unless you're ready to hear the whole story. It's like, don't come to me on my door knocking. Can we talk about religion? Can we? <laughs> Can we? If we, if we don't talk about it, let's talk about the whole thing. But if you're just trying to convert me to your organization, walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on. Bye. Don't heal song me. Don't Jehovah me. Don't Mormon me. Don't make for me. Don't do any of that. I think you're all that. But uh, I'm going to enjoy this day. That's it. Happy Saturday.